Yo, 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 what's up? My name is Petrowski, and today I wanted to make a pretty quick and simple video explaining a specific item that was received a lot recently because it was given out in the goodie bags during the Halloween event. That item is going to be the Rage candy bar. So this is a specific item that doesn't really tell you what it does um, in the item's text besides it restores 20 HP, but it also has a specific uh, other use. So we're going to be starting here in Nimbasa City. Uh, if you want to follow along with me, make sure you bring a good highish level catching Pokemon like a Breloom uh, or a Smeargle with False Swipe and Spore. We're going to be heading south of this area. I also recommend bringing some Repels. Uh, super Repels are the most cost effective one, so I always recommend Super Repels. We're going to be coming down to the sand area, coming to the left here, coming north, and then I'm going to go ahead and pop a Repel just in case I accidentally uh, travel too much into the sand. So let's head this way, west, walk through this because you can't bike through this kind of like deep sand area. You want to go through this northern pattern. And if you know this area, we're kind of heading towards the like desert uh, resort area, as it says up in the top left. I'm going to run through this area, walk, bike through here, bike through here, bike around, not having the best path, but basically going northwest until you reach these ruins. And you're going to see these... These are basically what's called Zen Mode Darmanitan statues, uh, which is kind of complicated, but you can then click on them and give a Rage Bar candy to them, and he's going to wake up and be a Darmanitan. Uh, and this is just, I think it's really cool. I'm pretty sure it's one of the only ways to encounter Darmanitan in the game. Um, at least it's it's the only way to encounter uh, Darmanitan in the game in the wild. Um, you can encounter Darumaka, obviously, in the wild in some pretty common spots, but I think it's just a really cool mechanic that I don't think many people know about. Uh, it was used a lot, or not used a lot, but it was like a kind of a black-white uh, Pokemon, like, 5th gen mechanic that just kind of goes um, forgotten about in Pokemon Mo. Uh, and I think it's really cool. It's a really cool Pokemon. Darmanitan is very cool. I'm not sure if it's worth anything on the GTL. Not, like, you know. I mean, actually, the cheapest Darmanitan... Uh, by this standard is usually around like five to six K. So you could come here if you if you just have some lay, some can some candy bars laying around, you know, come here, catch these Darmanitans, sell them for, you know, five K a piece, and that's just like super easy profit. So just wanted to teach you guys about this mechanic and you know have you keep it in mind. Uh, but that's everything for this video. Pretty super simple stuff. If you liked this video and it was like cute and helpful and cool to you, go ahead and like it. Leave comments, leading feedback and video ideas and any sort of feedback like that in the comment section below. Subscribe for more daily Pokemon content. Uh, and join the Discord and check out all the links below in the description. And good luck catching your Demanitans. I wish you guys, I hope you guys have the best IVs. They can have some pretty cool IVs. Darmanitan is a really cool Pokemon, uh, if you don't know as well. Really, really cool base stats. A brutal 140 attack. Put a, a Choice Scarf on this thing, uh, and it's a super cool PvP threat. But that's all for now. Good luck, guys. Have a good one.